Hi, honeys. It's Michelle, Michelle Escalin, and Marty is here with me. I don't know if I offended him, but he's facing the other way. I wanted to talk to you about my birthday. So this video is going to be all about my birthday. I just had a birthday last week, and it started out at Mahjong. I went to play with my friends and found out that my friend Barb made a cake for me. <laughs> and so they sang happy birthday and there's a picture somewhere around here of me with the cake. And it was just a really nice way to start off the birthday week. And she also gave me this car that is very sweet. And then I've got, as you know, I've got this necklace here and these earrings from my friend Kristen, also with a really sweet card. Um, I've got these socks from one of my friends, uh, one of the viewers on here, and a nice card to go with that. And then another lady that she watches both of my channels and she's been watching for a long time. She's one of my um, one of my, I guess you would say like ride or die people. She's been watching for a long, long time. And if you don't mind people knowing uh, who you are, you're more than welcome to say, hey, it was me. But I, because you don't have a YouTube page, I don't know if you want people to know, you know. Anyway, I had done this video on my book channel about books that changed my life. And she said that a, one of the books that changed her life was Betsy Tacey. And I said, oh, wow, um, I haven't read those books. And so I told her I'm putting them on my wish list. Well, I ended up getting a Betsy Tacey book, but this is one of hers that she's had, well, probably since she was a little girl or her whole life. I'm trying to think here. I feel like this book is, yeah, 1940. So. This book was already old when she was a child because she wasn't born in 1940. <laughs> but she said that she had two of these and so she wanted to give me one of the two. And I just, to me personally, that means a lot. I have a few books that are really old and I've had them my whole life and I've, they're very dear to me. And if I were to actually give one to someone, they would have to be very near and dear to my heart. And so it makes me feel really good. It makes me feel like, wow, you know, some of, some of my viewers really do value me and care about me. And it just, it was really sweet. So this is now off my wish list, and I will read this book. Isn't this beautiful? It's from, it was, uh, the copy, it says it was from 1940. And so it's one of those older books that has the little images every once in a while and just beautiful. I'm so excited to have this. And in case you're interested in finding one of these, it's by Maud Hart Lovelace. And it's a children's book about, I think, a couple little girls. She also sent a card. Yeah, which I thought was adorable. And then I haven't bought anything yet. My dad sent me this card, <laughs> which I thought you might get a kick out of. And it says, see, there are things more frightening than having another birthday, which I thought, <laughs> how cute, right? And with the, he sent me an Amazon, or he sent, no, it wasn't an Amazon gift card. He sent me a gift card. And with that, I'm probably going to get a watch. I want another watch. I love mechanical watches and I wanted to get another one. And then probably some Golden Girls paraphernalia. Also got myself a birthday gift this year, and, and Brad did too. Um, so what he got me, I went to go get my nails done, and he said, why don't you get one of those really nice, like, kind of pricey <laughs> pedicures that you like? So I did. I got a, it was a Japanese detox um, pedicure. <laughs> so it was like a five step series of things they did. And it was really luxurious and comforting. And I just felt very spoiled by the time I left, you know, having my nails done too. And I had my toenails done the same color as my fingernails. 
Then I got a birthday gift for myself this year, which I don't normally do, but this one was kind of important to me to get. Um, I went ahead and got this. It's a Bible, and it's just a really pretty, beautiful Bible. It's not actual leather, though. It looks and feels like leather, but it's not. So that was that's just one of those personal spiritual things that I wanted to get for myself as a birthday gift. Get the Bible that I really wanted. Um, so it's got all the the maps and the just all the different things that if you're into reading Bibles, the, the, all the bells and whistles that you might want, this book has. <laughs> On my actual birthday, Brad, I didn't feel like going anywhere. <laughs> it was during the week. And so after the workday was over... Brad went down to Sonic and got my, one of my favorite meals is Sonic. And he got me this strawberry cheesecake shake, which was delightful. So between the cake that Barb made for me and that, I had had a whole week's worth of <laughs> sweets, which was wonderful. Then we watched the movie Constantine, which was really fun to watch. And then um, we spent the rest of the night on the phone with my brothers. My brother, Phil, called and we talked for quite a while, about, I don't know, maybe an hour or two. I think it was more like an hour. And then my brother, Alan, called and we talked until it was time to go to bed. Um, and so I just felt really happy and surrounded by love this year. It just felt, I guess because last year we were all just not doing anything, it really felt celebratory this year. In ways that my birthday normally isn't, I guess. <laughs> Brad and I decided that for my birthday, we would go on a birthday date. But we wanted to do it on the weekend, not on my birthday. And plus, we knew I'd be on the phone most of the night with my brothers. So we decided to we do this like video chat thing with my brothers. So we decided to go on our date on Saturday. And what we did was we are already Brad. Brad just ran into 7-Eleven real quick to get some cash out and and we are going to go to what's it called Buca de Peppa Buca de Peppa for dinner <laughs> which I've never been there have you been there I heard it's a nice Italian restaurant that's why I'm wearing this dress it just seems perfect for an Italian restaurant and then we might go out for a few drinks afterwards. We found this one place here that we really like. And it's um, it's just fun. So we'll see if we feel up to it or not. If not, after dinner, we'll just go home and maybe get like a pay-per-view movie or something. Uh, we were going to go out to the movies tonight. But we I love scary movies. And we were going to go see Saw. Here's the problem. Saw has really bad ratings. And so now we've decided to go next weekend and to go see The Conjuring that's coming out, which I think will be good no matter what, because we love The Conjuring movies. We went to Buca di Beppo. I cannot say that name. And we just had the best dinner. It was amazing. It was so good. And it wasn't the cheapest meal, but it was, it's, a, it's an old school Italian meal where you can get a small or a large, smalls for, I think, two or three people and a large is for four to six people, I believe. And, and you eat old school Italian style where you sit down and eat for as long as, you know, you want to, you just graze and everybody shares everything. So we got we got an appetizer but it was enough for three people to eat so we shared the appetizer and then we got one meal it was uh well you'll you can see the meal here but that one meal actually lasted us for three nights so it was well worth the money by the time you get three full meals out of it and we got a side of meatballs and the meatballs were almost an entire meal by themselves. They were like this big around. It was so good. <laughs> and now one thing they have in a lot of places in Vegas that are more popular to go to is they'll have 
a photographer that goes around and asks if you want to have your picture taken. And usually they'll give you some kind of free gift that you can have if they, if you get your picture taken. And then what they'll do, and then what they'll do is they'll come back and offer you some prints of your photo. They, they usually take two or three photos and they offer you prints and you can buy them and that kind of thing. Well, I wanted prints this time. So <laughs> this is now our second print that we've done. The first one we did at Wahlburgers with my mom when we flew out here on vacation, the vacation that we decided to move here on. Uh, so we've got that picture and then we've got the one from this last weekend. So I think I'm going to start framing these in regular frames and just have like a section on the wall where I put those. So this is the free print that they gave us and you get two keychains, a heart shaped one and a rectangle shaped one. And so you can cut the pictures up and put them in the keychains, which I thought was really cute. And then the picture that we bought is this one. This is the one that we bought. <laughs> I just thought it was so cute. So I'm looking forward to framing these. I'll probably find the frames probably at the Dollar Tree. Well, maybe not. You never know. Maybe I'll go a little fancier than that. But it's kind of nice. It says Buca di, Pe Buca di Beppo on the top and then 2021. And you can kind of tell that we're in there looking at it. So then we went home, we brought our leftovers home because there was so much, so many leftovers. And we're now at the point in Vegas where it's right at the 100 degree mark every day. So you don't want to just leave your food in the car. So we came home, dropped off our food, we changed into something more casual. And then we went out for a few drinks and we had a really good time. <laughs> I got a video, I had put it on Instagram. If you're following me on Instagram, you probably saw it. Um, Brad was dancing and having fun to um, an ACD song that we were listening. We were at a place that had karaoke and the guy sounded just like the lead singer of ACDC. And so I recorded him having a bunch of fun. I don't want to put it on here though, because the guy sounded so much like the lead singer of ACDC, I probably would get a copyright strike. So I can't post it on here, but if you saw it on my Instagram page, you, you know what I'm talking about, <laughs> but we just had the best time and it just feels so good to be able to go out and do things again and experience life again. Um, I was starting to wonder if that was going to come back or not, <laughs> you know, with the amount of love I got from everybody this year for my birthday, I thought I might as well make a video about it not just as a thank you to those of you that sent me something. And I don't expect anybody to send me anything. So please don't take it that way. But those who did, I really appreciate it. It means a lot. And I just wanted to make this video so that in 10 years I can watch it. <laughs> so thank you so much for watching. I hope that you have a wonderful rest of your day or night. Be sure to tune in on Friday. I've got a Walmart haul that I'm doing that I'm excited about. I, I got some, some fun stuff there to get ready for summer. I love you. Bye. <laughs>